Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Hollywood has always been known for its westerns, movies about wagon trains, cattle towns, gunfights, at the center of which was the cowboy, the rancher, the gunslinger. But now and then Hollywood took leave of the untamed west and focused on cowboys of the present day. Rodeo cowboys, brave souls still competing in contests involving everything from calf roping to bronco riding. Well, our next film is one of the best on that subject. It's The Lusty Men from RKO in 1952. One reason it's so good is because Robert Mitchum is in it, playing a role that fits him like a glove as a one-time rodeo champion, now down on his luck after a lifetime of broken bones and occasional good days on the circuit. But things start to look up for him when he becomes a mentor to a newcomer to the rodeo, Arthur Kennedy, who has his own big dreams of making it big. The Kennedy has a wife played by Susan Hayward with realistic understandings of what's really going on, such as her husband's lust for fame and her own dreams. All that forms the gist of this very interesting movie. Susan Hayward, as I said, is the leading lady, and at the time she was on loan out from 20th Century Fox Studios to make this film for RKO. Part of a deal by whereby RK would then loan Mitchum to Fox for a film with Susan Hayward called White Witch Doctor. That's how deals were often done in those days. This film is another example among 114 others of what a great actor Mitchum was. And he rarely got credit for being that, you know. His performance as Jeff McLeod in our film is really one of his finest. Susan Hayward is also at her feisty best. And the film's grit and subject matter is also a per perfect fit for the film's director, Nicholas Ray, who is still to make his most important films, such as Johnny Guitar, Rebel Without a Cause, and Bigger Than Life, all of which was followed by his own burnout at the age of 52 and his disappearance for the next 15 years until his death in 1979. These are all really interesting people. Here from Arkeo in 1952, also with Arthur Hunnicutt, Frank Phelan, and a film produced by Jerry Wald. We bring you The Lusty Men.